just uh, we're here. Uh, we just got to the staging area where they're going to keep us for a few hours since we got here too early. So we're in the middle of a dust storm at the gate entrance-ish thing. And it's probably about uh, 2,000 people just hanging out at the front gate. And here's us. I will be back when we go in. What the hell were you thinking? Alright, so we are still at the pre-party. We've been waiting in line, I guess you could say, for about uh, four hours now. And so we're in purgatory right now, waiting with about 200 people. And we are in front of a line that is staggering and massive so we're lucky but we still have about an hour to go <laughs> you got sandals on? <laughs> can't even walk straight in sandals you need to be tighter it's like trampolining with someone it's fun but like yeah. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. All right, it is Monday morning here in Black Rock City. And I just went through my first night at Burning Man, and I figured I should give some first impressions while I'm still actively thinking about it. Uh, and I'm doing it on a bike, uh, riding through the event. Basically, uh, I've known about this event for 10 years or so, and every year either school or work got in the way, and I, I never was able to go. So um, I've had 10 years to prepare and try to get ready for this for this event. And I, I thought I knew I thought I knew how how awesome it was, and like you know I thought I thought I was prepared for what it was. But honestly, um, about 10 minutes into uh, driving into the venue, I realized I had, I had no idea exactly how big it actually is. It, it, you know, I live in Benicia, California, which is a 50,000 person town or so. And I mean, this makes Benicia look like a, like a tiny little village. This, it, it, you can't you can't explain how many people are here every single corner of this place is just packed with tents and vehicles and um, people from everywhere and uh, you know it's like it took me like a mile just to get to my nearest friend's camp which is just a few you know letters away you know he's on B Street I'm on A so anyway, um, yeah, I didn't go to sleep last night. I basically just stayed up all night at uh, one of the one of the stages, some fucking awesome stage that just kept dropping the uh, most, the best music ever, best music, pretty much number one, best music ever, best music I've ever heard. And so I couldn't leave, so I just I danced all night from like 2 a.m. to like 8 a.m. and I came back to my camp. And everyone was like waking up with like orange juice and bacon. And I came strolling in looking all haggard. My hair was all dirted up. And my camp was like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> so I was like, I don't know, I've just been out, been out partying. So anyway. Anyway, no, this this is I mean I knew I knew I would love this, but this is this is way better than I thought even. Um basically like you have like 50 choices per night to do something so fuck, where am I uh yeah um anyway I am I'm actually oh yeah I'm supposed to I'm running the Bechet's camp right now it's like 8 in the morning he's probably still sleeping in his tent 
I'm just gonna go knock on his knock on his flap, unzip his zipper, and uh, make him come party because uh, no one else is awake really, and I'm just riding around on on a bike. So anyway, this is this is definitely already. Honestly, it's way better than I expected. I know I always say everything's the best of all time, but this is probably the best of all time, and it's been like 16 hours. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, I'll be back, man. This is the temple. Always one of the most important and meaningful structures at Burning Man. And this year it is really detailed. Alright, Monday, uh, Monday evening, we are, we're setting up the sound system and everything. Uh, we just took a ride in the Rocket Art Car right here. And um, we now have all the lights we need to make this work, so we're doing some work. Ah, um, shit. No. No, wait. Wait, no, no, I don't think you can. Maybe that's it. No, it's... Oh, there it is. Oh, you see it? It's just oh, there it is. Oh, it's all taped it's up. It's like anything. taped up. There you go. What's that one get plugged in? Yeah, what the fuck? Where's that going? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it probably goes into this line that's coming. Yeah, for sure. It was like a white line that I was figuring out. Oh, yeah, for sure. We better. We better. I'll feel embarrassed if we don't. Check this out. You guys grab a little bit of food? Yeah, I was like, I think that was so stressed out with the food. Oh, with me, I'm I'm maintained now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now that we're here and set oh, up. Oh God, now that I have legit help. Nice. Oh, so I have a question. Yeah. So, is it, are you guys doing like the ideas about the birds together on the spot? Yeah. Are you? Okay. Sometimes it can make me kind of sleepy and not feel so great. Right. But, so I was going to do them. I can. It's Monday evening and I'm crossing straight across the playa to get to um, a camp where Davi is spinning can't remember what it's called but it's directly across from us so I'm going to pass uh, the man and this new statue they just put up actually oh it's Anubis it's Anubis the god of fertility I believe yes weather out it's probably like 78 degrees uh, no dust storms right now it's it's perfect it feels like it feels like California. It feels like San Diego. There's the man with his alien head. Does not look like a man.
Sometimes I guess there just aren't enough rocks. Uh, our neighbors here, uh, they built uh, an entire skate park uh, on the playa.
First night I got here, which was Sunday night, and um, I was I was all, I was totally fine. Uh, Monday night, I I almost did an all nighter again. I wasn't tired at all, but I, but I did get sleep because that that was the right thing to do was to get sleep. So Tuesday night, um, it's pretty much the same as Sunday night. I, it's five. It's like 5:20 a.m. right now. I have zero will. I have. <laughs> I have zero bones in my body that want to go to sleep. So why go to sleep? I honestly think I'm going to make my journey to Burning Man this year. Um, every other night, I'm doing an all-nighter, and I'm going. I am going to actually do it, and I'm not going to be tired when I when I leave here. And I, I will be honest. Once I get back, I will be honest as to whether or not I am tired. But there's. I, there's too much shit going on. There is, there's so much shit going on. There's no point to sleep. There's absolutely no point to sleep. So I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back in like uh, ten hours on on the day of Wednesday to, to tell you how I am feeling. Ah, fuck sleep. All right. So what is going on now? Um, it is a fine. <laughs> it's a fine Tuesday night. <laughs> it's a fine Tuesday night here at Burning Man. AKA Wednesday morning. For some people, it's Wednesday morning. For most of us, it's Tuesday night. And uh, our camp here, Buddha Lounge, it's been it's been holding it down all night. We we've had a great amount of people all night. We've had really good music. Stand the dubstep, stands it. But um, yeah, we have a fire pit. We have people coming in, constant, constant people, constant people coming in.
the deal, man. I'm um, walking towards the robot heart for the first time. I was just with like nine or ten people, and we were all of a sudden no one knew where the fuck each other was at. Literally, I just got split up. From all I can hope for is that they're smart enough to look in the sky and notice that there's a giant fucking heart about a mile away. And so I've been walking for literally about 25 minutes to this motherfucking stage. And I cannot wait to get there. Oh my god. I can't believe how big this place is. We ride. Robot Heart is off the hook. We ride. We ride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a good time. Let's have a good time. up an epic spaghetti pasta feast. So I'm taking like video of Buddha Lounge and I'll put it to some music or something. something, something. And um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, we are stocked up, we are stocked up. Boxed wine. How much boxed wine yeah, we have? <laughs> we have fucking 35 liters of boxed wine. Yeah, this, and the the hasn't, hasn't, hasn't even been cracked, That's all red though, this is cold white wine. This yeah, yeah, for sure.
Thursday night. Moon Tribe. I am approaching the temple. Friday afternoon, and uh, it's been a, the best day so far. I think. Uh, the weather is perfect. It's like overcast, and there's a lot of shadows, and not too much heat, I guess. And I just got back from the temple. I'm still at the temple. Just got done crying my eyes out for like fucking at least 10 minutes. That, I don't know, sums up, <laughs> sums up with that place, it's, uh, it's very emotional, it's very emotional, this is, this place is amazing, I really don't want to leave in three days, I really don't want to leave this place, it's, it's, this is not like any, any sort of event, um, anywhere else, there's not, a, not a chance, there's not a chance anything could ever, ever top this. Big, big puppy yellow camp and um, 
It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, they're very generous with the alcohol. You don't really get to order what you want for the alcohol. They just they, they make a new combination of stuff every every order. Holly Paradise looking for Scott. Scott, what's up man? Where you at? Can't find you man. I asked a lot of people but probably probably no comparison. I can't get over the weather right now. It's like the perfectest weather of my life. <laughs> yeah. Is this all Poly Paradise back in back this year? Yeah. Oh man, you guys are really huge. I'm looking for my friend Scott. Uh, not it's not Scott O, the leader or whatever. It's maybe. Um, his wife is Tony. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, he's sleeping in his bed right now. No. We got, we got Can you show? I'm, oh my, there are no, there are no words to describe how epic this day has been. It's, it's been, I've been here since Sunday. It's Friday now, so that get, you know, it took me five days to actually grasp the, the power and the epicness of what's actually going on. And uh, I met so many friends today. The fucking weather. It's. God, I cannot explain what is actually going on. It can't, it, it can't be equaled. It cannot be equaled anywhere. So awesome. So fucking awesome. Like, I think I'm done, I'm done with every other festival. There's no reason to go to any... There's no reason to go to any other party, even on the weekends. Fuck, man. By the dust of them all, Jack Yield has learned. Now when two men get to fighting, it happens here. And it finishes here. Two men enter, one man leaves. <laughs>
taking a video in a while because it's been a crazy last couple days saw the man burn last night and I didn't take a video because I figured everyone else would be doing the same thing so I'm just gonna steal someone else's video and put on my little collage and I'm walking out to the rubble right now uh, we're about to leave actually so kind of left camp and want to get a, a peek at what the the remnants of the man are <clears throat> It's a weird, it's a weird situation without the man um, at the event because there's no center point to look at anymore. It's just a big fucking piece of desert, and the temple is still there, way over there. But so yeah, last night when they burned the man, um, they had multiple explosions go off. I think with probably TNT or C4 or something like that. And the most massive fireworks show ever. It was pretty epic. It was a lot better than I thought it would be from after all the videos and all the years I've seen of uh, footage from it. It was better than I thought. So um, here's the rubble, I guess, and people are like digging through it, <laughs> picking, up, picking up stuff, checking it out. Oh wow, it's fucking hot. It's like a volcano. It's really, really hot in here. And you feel the you can feel the heat from uh, from 15 hours ago still kind of circulating. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Exiting Burning Man.
we're on, we're on Exodus <laughs> and we are going smoothly. This is what our Exodus looks like. Uh, here comes the shit. We're the only car leaving Burning Man. I like how they have the porta potty set, set up to a time out here. It is for Exodus. when you're out here. Oh, you have fucking GPS? You were locked into uh, the MIR. MIR.org. It's no creepers. How's it going? Got some guesses. Oh, 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 oh,